Hello guys, what's up? We're back again for another cooking show. Um, yes, but before that, guys, I just want to say, you know, like, thank you for all the likes that we're getting on, uh, you know, on our YouTube channel. I know it's still kind of like brand new, but, you know, we're like overwhelmed with all the likes and some of the comments that you, you know, that you guys are leaving there. So we really appreciate that one, guys. So, but yeah, I just want to clarify some things, guys. You know, like, I'm no chef by all means, okay? I'm not all chef, I'm just like a dad, you know, like that, that has like a nine to five job, right? So, you know what I mean? But it, it brings me joy to actually share, you know, all this experience that I have since, you know, like growing up from childhood uh, from my, that I got from my mom. So my mom, she, you know, she taught me all these things, guys. Um, I got it from her, you know, watching her like uh, growing up, you know, like uh, cooking on all the fiesta back home. And, um, you know, catering, her small catering business back then, it really taught me. And, you know, so I kind of like grew up like actually cooking. So, yes. So the only reason why I'm, I'm, I'm doing all this cooking, guys, because, you know, I'm the most experienced, you know, between me and, and the wife. So I, I and I actually love this one, guys. It's my passion. And I know some of my friends that are actually watching this, they can vouch for that one, too. So my passion in cooking, guys, you know, it actually, you know, like make me like cook and cook and more like you know what i mean i never get tired of by this so with that being said guys like what i'm saying you know what i mean i'm no chef by all means um you know what i mean i'm not trying to compete with all the other cook out there you know what i mean like uh but what what what, what i'm trying to do is like I'm, I'm i'm trying to teach you guys and hopefully you guys you know pick up a, a thing or two to the style of cooking that i'm that i've been doing and i i know i understand some of the ingredients uh, that i've been using here it's probably not available to where you guys are at in the world. But yes, there's always like a traditional way of doing this one, guys. There's always a traditional way of doing this one. Uh, like what I said, um, you know what I mean? Like since we're in the U.S. and we have all this uh, list of, um, you know what I mean? Like herbs and other ingredients that I can incorporate and modify some of our dishes. Um, and that's what I've been doing, guys. That's the only reason why I'm doing this one. But of course, guys, like... Our dishes on their own, they're already delicious. So, yes. Yeah, so, I'm not trying to compete, guys. I'm not trying to, you know, say like, hey, my cooking are good. It's, it's, it's just that, you know, just that's just me, like, walking on some of the aisle in the grocery store. And, like, I, I found out, like, oh, my goodness, what is this herbs going to do with if I implement it? And then I discovered from there, like, like yes, it, it brought a different aroma and flavor on our dish. So, that's the only reason why I'm doing that one, guys. So, but... By all means, if you guys cannot find the ingredients, but I will do my best. Um, leaving all the uh, ingredients in the in the description in our in our in, our, in my video, guys. So by all means, um, you guys can follow that one, or if you guys can find a different uh, herbs or something, guys, uh, do it, do it. You know, try to um, experiment, try to modify some of your dish, and maybe it will bring a different kind of taste in your palate or flavor whenever you guys are cooking for your for your family. So yes. So yes, guys, uh, welcome to another channel. But uh, before I start, uh, I just want to say a uh, shout out to my parents. They're actually back home. You know, they've been there since like uh, beginning of uh, November, December, I think. So yeah, so I, 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 I really miss you. I really miss them. Um, you know, I just want to say I love them and uh, I can't wait until I see them. So yes, so um, are this, guys. Um, tonight, it's going to be uh, pinangat. Pinangat na isda. So I don't know what comes in your mind whenever whenever i i say that one right so for me a little bit of background about pinangat uh, growing up growing up in pampanga guys i'm from pampanga right shout out to all the people that out there um we're all surrounded by like the the place down there you know what i mean like the fishery right so in a, in my small town in, in sasmoan uh near like guagua and lubao right right in the middle um we were surrounded by a lot of uh fisher uh, fishery in there guys so so what, what i missed about it is like um Every morning or every weekend, me and my mom will go in the wet market in there, and then we actually buy all the uh, they call it like salad salad, like which is like mixes of uh, fishes and maybe shrimp in there. So we actually uh, we buy that one, and then my mom she will pangat those one like uh, for breakfast with the uh, sinangag with like fried rice. So so yes, so that's what I miss every time I cook this dish, guys. Then again, I will repeat myself. It it makes me a uh, miss um growing up in in the philippines so yeah so this one is very dear to me every time i cook this one for every time i cook this one i always remember my childhood with my mama cooking that dish you know breakfast with with a hot um you know fried rice sinangag man it's 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 the best you can 
you, you know you can you can do and or you can cook and it, it, it always like bring the taste in my in my mouth every time i think about like pinangat so every now and then uh, even now that i'm married i actually you know still cook this one because it, it it holds very dear in my heart so yes without further ado guys so uh, to, uh tonight um we're, we're gonna be uh, doing the pinangat uh, so pinangat guys for our uh, non-native uh, filipino uh, um speaking as uh, speaking out there um pinangat is like a uh, like a stew it's like a stew dish similar to the uh, sinigang i don't know if you guys know the sinigang sinigang sauce was like a stew but it's like more soupy so pinangat is like a stew but less um less soup in there so it's like more the taste is like more concentrated and and without no without vegetable so there's no vegetable in this one it's not like the sinigang that you guys are know of pinangat is like a little uh, uh i would say like simmered version of that one but it's the same uh, same pound uh, same ingredients but the, it's more simmered version so yes they're both stew but this one's like more uh, simmered and more concentrated and then no vegetable at all and like what i said guys uh, if you partner this one with like a like a, maybe like a garlic fried rice or just a regular fried rice in the morning man this is like the best so but tonight what we're cooking pinangat is a uh, pampano guys i'm pretty sure pampano uh, in the philippines it's always like the tilapia right the small tilapia i remember those one the, the native tilapia man those are good too and the bangus of course the milkfish right but in here since we're you know there's there's so many there's so much variety of fishes in in the u.s you know we, we and then we found out about the pampano the pampano fish which is like more you know what i mean a uh, meaty and uh you don't have to like and it doesn't require like a whole lot of uh, a, lot, a whole lot of uh, cleaning on the pampano guys because like what i said not only it's like really meaty but it's also delicious but i'm pretty sure you guys know that one too and then on top of the pampano fish guys we're gonna mix it up with uh with shrimp or prawns i think i got prawns maybe shrimp maybe they're shrimp um so we're gonna mix them up with shrimp and then again i got that one from my mom <laughs> so my mom she introduced me with all these um you know with all the fishes and shrimp and that's what uh i don't know if you guys can hear Jaden. <laughs> i need to he was like around me while i'm talking so i apologize guys so he's really making a lot of noise but that's Jaden right there he's about to take a shower but he probably wants to say hi to you guys <laughs> it's just it's just nearby so yes so this is Jaden, guys um yeah so we're gonna be cooking um the the pampano guys with with shrimp tonight so like what i said this is um this is the pinangat and i'm pretty sure you guys can uh, relate to uh, nothing special about my dish guys it's it's very traditional um i don't i don't really put like you know what I mean? like something different this time um, but yeah so we're gonna we're gonna be cooking that one and i'm just, uh, you know but for our non-native uh, uh, filipino uh, speaker or you know from different <laughs> culture that are, that are watching this show i'm just gonna show you guys a real fast the, the ingredients for the pinangat so one second please. all right guys like what i said uh, every, every, probably everyone that are watching that are not really like filipino and they probably like on a different culture or country but like what i said guys are uh, you know like one of the reasons why I'm, I'm speaking like in english to you guys is we want to try to reach as many cultures as possible and that way uh, we can pictures you know what i mean like how delicious the filipino this are so so that's why you know like i'm really trying my best to actually you know not speak like filipino but speak like english because we know that there's a lot of us you know like english is like one of the languages where everyone can actually relate uh, uh out there so yes without further ado you guys like what i said we're gonna be cooking uh pinangat uh, i had uh, i have this uh, shrimp at costco the other day guys so i'm gonna be mixing up the pampano with the shrimp and like what i said i i got this uh pampano fish um i still need to clean them and everything so yes and then of course you know we're gonna have the tomatoes and then uh, onions in here and then i got the uh serrano uh, pepper guys i'm gonna put, be putting i'm not really a big fan of uh, uh pepper guys but um but for this one right here i feel like uh it's it's like putting like a more elevation on on the one that we're cooking uh since we're cooking uh the uh this dish and then a uh, ginger uh laya right and then we're, we're doing this one too and of course it's not gonna go anywhere um salt for flavoring and then i got this one right here guys i'm gonna be using a magic syrup this time so yes and i'm pretty sure this one is very popular out there especially in the philippines and then um I'm gonna since I don't we don't really have like a like a, the tamarind the fruit in here guys. I'm gonna use, be using like an artificial one, the sinigang uh, powder here. So yes, like what I said, guys. Uh, this one is very simple dish, very you know very traditional, uh, very Filipino dish, right? 
Um, but before that, I'm gonna be uh, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, uh, cleaning this one, and then once I'm done, I'll, I'll be back when you know when we're, when we're putting this one in the, uh, the the pot and everything or any cooking ware that you guys will use it. So yes, so hang on one second, guys. All right, guys, I got all the uh, the pompano uh, cleaned up already. Uh, ready? I got I cut them into like uh, two uh, two um, what do you call it um, slices in there. Uh, in, in in that way, you know, we, we can like manage it better, like uh, what we're gonna eat tonight and tomorrow. Uh, and it's it's actually good too, because I don't think it will they will fit in here um, if I don't cut them into two. So what I'm doing now is actually I'm cleaning the the shrimp, guys. So these are the shrimp that I got at Costco. So what, what I'm doing is I'm cutting a little bit of that um, the the one that are sticking up right there, and then there's like a thing uh, the back right here, guys, that I actually removed too. So yes. So once 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 um once I'm done with the, the shrimp guys, and then we're gonna start cut, cutting all the vegetable and uh, and then we'll go from there. But um, I'm pretty sure like majority of our, our viewers they can relate they can relate on this one. This one is like a very uh, simple uh, Filipino dish, guys. But you know what I mean? It's it's just like it just bring a lot of uh, different flavoring and everything. And then and then the aroma of this one actually reminds me uh, like what I said like growing up. So yes. So I'm just gonna um. I got there's there's quite a few right here guys, but it's just me and my wife, so I'm not gonna cook the whole thing. I'm probably gonna um, keep like the um, the other half and then create a um, like the gulai gulai later on. Uh, maybe like the uh, the labanos or the ampalaya later on, or maybe mungo even. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna do like maybe like um, still like half of this tray and then uh, and then we start cooking our um, our dish. One second. Alright guys, I'm finally uh, finished. Uh, probably took me like 15, 20 minutes uh, cleaning all those ones because they're still a little bit frozen, so they're hard to <laughs> they're hard to clean. So, but yes, I was able to like clean uh, both the pompano and then the shrimp too, guys. Uh, yeah, look at the shrimp. They're they're yeah, they're all like on same sizes in here, guys. I know sometimes in the Philippines they're all like <laughs> they're all like different sizes. There's like small and big one, but in here. Whenever you buy them, depending on they actually um, uh, what indicate this indicate the uh, the sizes too, guys. So these are probably like on the on the large, uh, I would say like size of shrimp, guys. Yeah, right here. So yes, so like what I said, guys. Uh, this one is a very simple dish, but I'm also using uh, my mom. I don't know if this is a clay pot right here, uh, but I know. Yeah, she, she reminded me like, hey, cook your uh, pinangat and your um, what do you call the other one, the um, as the other um, asim one, a pasiu you in here. I think it's a clay pot. I'm, I'm not sure. I need to ask my mom. But uh, yeah, she left this one here just for this purpose, guys. Just for the pinangat purpose and then the paxiu purpose for sure. So yes. So we're going to be uh, start cutting our bed, you guys. Like this one right here, guys. Like what I said, this one is very, uh, very simple dish. Uh, once you got all the ingredients um, incorporated in there, it's just a matter of like boiling it, putting it to cook, and then um, and maybe like simmer it a little bit toward the end. So yes. So this one... Uh, very simple, but yet I would say like one of my favorite for sure. When it when it comes to like fish uh, stew or any kind of dish, this one for sure. Um, yes, definitely proud of. You know what I mean? This is uh, one one of our cu uh, cuisine right here, guys. So yes, yeah. so I'm just gonna cut this one into like maybe like three segment, guys, to kind of like you know bolster all the flavoring in there, uh, bring out all the flavor of the uh, the onions in there. And then I also got the, the Roma, the Roma tomato here, guys. I'm also gonna do the same thing. Uh, I'm gonna do maybe like uh, four segments on each. Uh, yeah, this one, like what I said, four segments. They're, they're like a little bit overripe already, my tomato guys, but that's still okay. They're still good. As long as you don't see like any uh, black or gray, uh, uh, coloring in there they, they're still good so yes so I'm gonna put all this one right here guys because these are the one that's left in the fridge and then I feel like they're just gonna get bad uh, if I if I still leave them there so I'm just gonna put um, uh, four of them in there but like what I said um, you know whenever I cook this one guys I actually like more tomatoes in there so that's just gonna it's just gonna match uh, my preference when it, whenever we're cutting this dish. So yes, so we got the tomato, we got the onion in there, guys. Um, I got the serrano pepper in here. I know, in, I know, back home, you guys are probably have the kind of like yellowish color one, like the long one. Uh, I think they call them a banana pepper here. I don't know the Tagalog of those one. Uh, but yes, I'm just gonna put like two serrano uh, uh, peppers, guys. 
um, yeah, I'm not really a big pepper guy, uh, uh, pepper when it comes to like this. So <laughs> I'm just gonna two, maybe, maybe two will will be uh, will be good, guys. And of course our ginger. So I'm just gonna clean the, this ginger a little bit, and then uh, and then uh, slice it up, and then uh, that should do our uh, our uh, dish right there, guys. And I'm just gonna clean this one, remove some of the skin. I mean, some people I know they prefer the skin uh, to be, uh, to you know what I mean. Whenever they cook this uh, ginger, so sometimes I know some people be, I see them cooking it, but I prefer to remove the, the skin, guys. But I don't think I, you can actually remove the whole thing anyway. So I'm gonna actually cut this one into segments, and that way I can better clean it. Should be good. Do the do the rest. Try to remove as much skin as possible. Yeah, these are like on the small side of uh, ginger that I got at the grocery store, guys. That's why they're they're hard to uh, to clean. I know sometimes they have the bigger one, which is like easy to clean because the spacing are you know what I mean, bigger in there. But this one is okay too. We just have to like cut it, cut it, cut it uh, into small segments and. Uh, and then that way we can remove as much skin as possible. And then we got this small one. I don't know if I can clean this one a little bit. Oops. <laughs> I guess that's not good anymore. <laughs> Never mind. That's not good anymore, guys. So I'm just going to throw that one away. So yeah. So this one should be good right here. I'm gonna rinse them off, and then uh, yeah, not a whole lot of ginger, guys. Just enough to uh, kind of like neutralize the the fish uh, the fishy uh, taste in there. So that's why I'm putting ginger on mine. So I'm gonna cut this one. I know some people they don't put ginger, but I, I kind of like prefer to put ginger on mine, guys. Whenever I cook this one. Alright, that should be good. Put everything in there. Like what I said, this one right here, you can like incorporate all, all the um, all the flavor in there, guys. I'm actually gonna put this uh, flavor into this magic setup, guys. If you guys have the Nor Cubes, go for it. Uh, but I ran out, so I only have this one. So this will do as well, guys. Just to kind of like put uh, more flavoring in there. So yeah, um, for, for non-Filipino, uh, you guys can get this one. Um, I think you can only get them like at the, like any Asian store for sure. So yeah, so I don't, I don't think you can get this one to any. Um, they probably have the Maggie in there, but they don't have this uh, this brand right here, guys. I think you can only get this one. Uh, uh, what do you call it in a Filipino? Not Filipino store, but any Oriental store. You can you can find this one right here. So I'm just gonna put the, this one here. Put the whole thing in there. Put a little bit of salt now, guys, and then we, like what I said, we can adjust later. We can just like taste the the soup later, and then, and then go from there. Um, I'm not gonna put this one yet, guys, cause uh, I'm I'm gonna wait until uh, the tomato um kind of like um you know I mean get into the soup, uh, in and that in that that way I can tell like hey how much more uh you know tart or the asim right the uh, the sourness. I still need from this so because you already know the tomato will produce the same um the sourness but of course the uh the, the tamarind flavor is not you know what i mean it's not it's not as you know like good as the tomato that you can that, you, that, that the tomato brings so so yeah so i'm still gonna put the sampalok there guys because you know what i mean i really like the um, you know what i mean like the the flavor that the sampalok brings on this one i mean better if you guys have the, if you guys actually have the uh the sampalok uh fruit right much better to just kind of like throw it in there and then and then let it do its thing i know in the philippines too um there are other like um sour uh fruit that you guys use the kamyas i know is one of them maybe the santol as well right i know there's a lot of different ones, but the common one is we use is the uh, tamarind so yeah so like what i said i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, put this one to cook guys this uh this pot right here that i have and then uh and then i'm gonna do some uh, taste uh, run later on 
and then see how much more um, sourness that I will that I will need from this uh, from uh, this uh, sinigang sa sampalok uh, mamasitas that I have. All right, guys, we're back at the, the stove area. But before I put this one to cook, uh, I, oh, I forgot to do a shout out too on my my wife's side. Um, you know, like uh, to Mama and Papa and to his uh, brothers too, and you know all his relatives there. Um, you know, I just want to say hi to all of you guys there. Uh, I, I think you're probably like watching, and uh, you know I can't wait to, to 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 see you all. So hopefully, hopefully really soon, guys. You know, I'm really excited to to see everyone, especially on my wife's side, because uh, you know I know Mama already see, uh, seen her in person, but I know the rest of you guys. Yeah, trust me, guys. I'm I'm excited, and I, I can't wait. I can wait for that day to come. So hopefully, really soon, guys. Hopefully, really soon, um, I will see you guys. So shout out to all the uh, the Mesa, and then the, um, on their on their side. So yes, <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see you guys. Yep. All right. Like what I said, guys. We're here on the the stove area. Um, I'm about to put this one to cook. All right. Yeah. Like what I said, man. This is my favorite uh, spot of the house because you know I mean I'm I'm very passionate about like cooking. I got it to my mom. And then, you know, I mean, I just kind of like learn it from there. So, yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll put, I'm going to bring it closer. So, we're going to put this one to boil, guys. So, I would say, um, I will check in like 30 minutes, guys. 30 minutes. And then, uh, we'll see how the fish are looking. Because this, this shouldn't take long to cook. You know, as soon as it starts boiling and everything, it shouldn't take that long to cook. But it probably take us from between like 45 to an hour to kind of, to kind of like, you know what I mean? Like cook the whole thing, like put all the, uh, mix up all the ingredients that, that we put in here. So yes, like what I say, guys, we're just going to leave it as it is right now. And then uh, we'll check it back in a little bit. See you guys in a little bit then. Yeah, don't forget to put the lids too, guys, before I <laughs> see you guys later. So I'm going to put it to cook and then uh, we'll check on it like later on. Or also, guys, uh, before I forget, um, so on my pinangat, guys, I actually, I'm pretty sure people, they do the same thing. They put like a, a little bit of oil in there. So since I have like olive oil in there, guys, um, I like the flavoring that I get from the olive oil, like just the taste. So I'm actually going to put a little bit in there just for extra flavoring. So yes, yeah, so, so maybe this is the only difference that I put in there, guys, uh, on my uh, pinangat. But yeah, rather than that, it's it, it's pretty much like exact uh, the same uh, tradition, traditional dish that we're cooking in the Philippines. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there, guys, just for extra flavoring that I figure out. So, so that should do it right there. And then yes, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna close it back again. So yes, guys, uh, we'll see you guys uh, when it's like. Um, like maybe like halfway cook and we'll check it out together hey guys i might for, forget for uh those of you that didn't know uh, you actually put you need to put like a little bit of water on our um what do you call it, the pinangat okay not a whole lot it's not like the uh, the sinigang version right i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know that one but to our non-filipino viewers uh, i just want to let you guys know that um yeah put a little bit of water okay don't forget that one um yeah, you don't want to burn your fish or you know what I mean, anything in there. So yes, just put a little bit, guys. Um, I would say uh, let me, let me see. Uh, I actually open it, guys, for 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 the recipe, guys that uh, didn't know like how much to measure water. I would say like uh, the one that I put here, guys, is probably like a three, uh, maybe like three to four cup full, guys. So that's yes, this size, this size of uh, you know the pot that I'm using. And with the amount of fish and you know everything in there so maybe this is like three to four uh, even five a cup full of uh, water so yes so i don't know if you guys can see it it's actually like you know what i mean like start to boil and everything you know cooking all the uh, the fishes and everything that we have guys so yes so i'll, I'll come back uh, in a little bit i don't want to like keep you guys there while it's like doing its thing and i just want to make sure that you know I'm, I'm clear enough for some of the people you know i mean non-filipino viewers that we have yeah, I mean, like, don't for, for, not, not to forget the water in there, yes. Hey! Alright guys, hey, it's me again. Um, yeah, so while waiting for that pinangat, guys, um, it's, you know, it's Jaden's time hey. to eat, so... Oh, no. Yes, so I still got a little bit of that, um, the chicken, um, the chicken one that we uh, cooked the other night, so... I mean, I mean yeah, the other night, the, ch the chicken curry, so, yeah, he, he loves, uh, 
you love to any any Filipino dish, guys. As long as it's like, um, you know, it has the the sabaw and the soup on its rice, guys. You pretty much like eat anything, guys. So yeah, so it's it's this uh, feeding time. Uh, this is our normal routine, guys, here in the U.S. So you know, if you guys are, if you guys know here, I'm pretty sure uh, some of you know some of our viewers that are here too, or maybe some other countries that are similar uh, lifestyle here. You know, you pretty much like do everything in here. So when I'm uh, when I'm away from work, you know, my my, my wife, uh, if you see her setup, yeah, she she tried to feed uh, both of the you know our small boys. So yeah, so but whenever I'm home, you know, while I'm cooking, and and sometimes it's it's around uh, Jaden's uh, dinner time. Um, yeah, so I you know I kind of like help help her out too. So yes, we need to do everything on our own here, guys. So you know, some I know sometimes the Philippines. Uh, yeah, you know I mean there are uh, options that yeah, you know, I mean you maybe you can get some you know maid or you know someone that can help you out with some of the household, but but here guys that's really hard to do. So yeah, so you know we need to learn uh, on how to do everything on our own. So yes, so you know like we do all the cooking, laundry, um, you know feed the, the the baby and everything. Yes, it's it's definitely a di different lifestyle compared to um, you know in, like in the Philippines where you have some of that options. So available to you but anyway guys yep i just want to you know what i mean like while waiting kind of like want to share some of our um you know what i mean like uh, living here in the u.s um and yeah so i'm gonna uh feed uh, Jaden with the uh, carry uh, chicken and then um once it's like uh, done cooking guys and then we'll, we'll come back to our pinangat but anyway guys I'm not gonna keep you guys there for a long time. I don't want to bore you guys. So, but yes, I'm trying to share some of our life in here, and then we'll be right back. Guys, look who's here. He just finished uh, taking a shower. Javin, my bunso, my youngest boy. Yes, yeah, Javin, say hi to everyone. Say hi, everyone. Yeah, he just finished uh, taking a shower, guys. We're still waiting on that uh, pinangat, guys. But I think it's uh, like really cooking really well now. So maybe like in a few more minutes, I can show you guys the. Uh, the end result so i just want you to see uh javin hi lola to my lolas and my lolos they're both out there i can't wait to see you see you guys so you see, say hi to them Javin, say hi to everyone yeah there you go say hi you see yourself <laughs> so say hi to everyone hi. all right guys we'll be right back All right, guys. Let's check out our uh, pinangat. Oh, look at that! Look at that, guys. Actually, I'm gonna bring this one closer. Actually, uh, cooking re really well, as you guys can see. So I'm just gonna do a quick test, guys, before I start putting the uh, powder or the uh, pump asim. I just wanna do a quick uh, run test. Hmm. That's so good, but um, like what I said, it's still missing the uh, a little bit of the uh, the sourness in there, guys. So um, I'm gonna put, uh, but the, uh, the 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 saltness, guys, is already there. So it, it's 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 what we need with the saltness and everything and all the flavor and the aroma that the um, tomato, the onions, and the uh, pepper, you know, and then the uh, the uh, ginger, the luya, it's actually there. So like what I said, we don't have the you know what I mean? Like uh, other means, like we don't have the real tamarind in here. Uh, and that's what I miss too. I miss the real tamarind. Uh, so we're gonna be using this powder right here, guys. I'm just gonna open it up and then we're gonna, we're gonna mix it up. But then again, I know there are regions that they don't even, um, this is like enough right here for their, um, what do you call it? Their pinangad. But, uh, yeah, but for my uh, guys, uh, and I think uh, growing up, I think, uh, I've seen my mom put a, a, what do you call it? Put a tamarind on ours. So we'll start with that, guys. I don't want to like overpower it with the, the tamarind. Because this is, like what I said, this is not sinigang. I just want a little bit of that uh, the sourness uh, in there. And the taste. It's, I prepared it that way. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. So we're not going to overpower it. And then, uh, and then we'll give it a, we'll give it a taste. So I'm just like trying to dissolve the uh, the powder in there, and then we'll give it a taste and see how we, uh, you know, how I feel about that one. But yeah, but it's definitely cooking the way it should be, guys. 
And then we're gonna simmer it from here too, guys. So we're gonna simmer it. So be careful whenever you're putting this one, because when the water kind of like evaporates, it kind of like bring more of the uh, powerness of the you know the taste. So we're gonna simmer it. So I'm not gonna post this one anymore. So it will be simmered. There you go, guys. I, th I think I uh, I like the I like the sourness now. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep the this one for the next cooking that we'll do. So yeah, so we're just gonna leave it uh, simmering, guys. So I would say maybe for another like 15 minutes, and then that's gonna complete the uh, 45. Like I said, like 45 to an hour, maybe, but somewhere in there, or maybe a little more. And then, uh, and then that should that should do it, guys. And then we'll do some serving, and then and that's gonna be our um, pinangat, pampano, and then uh, shrimps. All right, guys. I feel like it's really ready now, guys. And I think we gave it en enough time to you know do its thing, and you know I mean cook with and mix all the ingredients that we do. Yep. Yeah, we we cook it right now. We're not gonna see simmer it uh, anymore, guys, because. Uh, you know, like what I said, uh, you know, my son, he loves the, the soup as well, or the sabao. So, we're just going to leave it as it is. We're not really going to, like, simmer, sim super simmer it. And I feel like it's it's really ready right now, guys. So, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna serve it now. So, we just need to be careful uh, pulling all the, uh, the, the fish in there because we don't want to, like... So, I'm going to put a little bit on this, uh, some of the veggie on this uh, bowl for now, guys. Let me, let me uh... Let me show you guys one second. So yeah, guys, uh, like what I said, uh, we're gonna serve it. It's already uh, seven, uh, almost like seven thirty here, uh, uh, p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So yes, and it's it's uh, that time for us to eat dinner. So those are our uh, shrimp in there, guys. So I'm just gonna put uh, make make enough space so we can grab the uh, the fish without like uh, putting a whole lot of damage in there or plucking uh, some of the meat out of it. So you can see the tail part right there. That's the pampano, look at that guys. It actually cook uh, really well. So that's our pampano there. I think one is should be enough for me and my wife. So I'm just gonna grab extra of the shrimp because we, we love the shrimps guys. And then we put a little bit of the uh, the sabao in there. I'll put uh, one of the serrano guys. We put we put, we love to put this one in our so um, in the uh, the patis. I mean, at least me, I prefer it that way. And then and then of course rice isn't gonna go anywhere. And then there you go, guys. I know my wife, she, she loved a little bit of the soup as well, so that's why I kind of like, didn't like want to simmer it like all the way, so. so there you go, guys. Uh, that's our uh, pinangat, uh, pampano, and uh, shrimp, mixed shrimp in there, so yes. Alright, guys, that's uh, another show of uh, cooking. Uh, like what I said, guys, I'm not a professional chef, I'm just like sharing. You know what I mean? Like the way, you know what I mean? Like uh, my normal routine here. So that's my normal routine, guys. Cooking, working, cooking, cooking, and helping the wife. Uh, you know what I mean? Like uh, helping, help her with like some of the household too. And you know what I mean? Taking care of our two uh, small uh, uh, babies too. So yes. So I don't know if you can hear a jab in it. She, she, my wife's actually uh, feeding her. I'm mean, feeding him right now. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you them uh, real fast before I, you know what I mean? Say uh, goodbye and you know what I mean? Like until the next show again but uh, hang on one second guys so i'm just gonna take my tripod guys hopefully i'm not gonna do a lot of shaking <laughs> while i'm showing you guys my uh, my kids like what i said guys i'm doing this one too so when they grow up uh, you know what i mean they can see us and then they can see themselves too like you know how they were when they were like super young so that's yeah then i think he's uh, teething that's why uh, he's like making a lot of noise and everything so yes so yes i can't wait until they you know like grow up and then uh, you know what I mean? Like uh, seeing all this video. So yes, that's my wife right there behind me. You want to say hi real fast? No. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> she probably is shy. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> Okay, so you wanna you wanna say hi, uh, Jaden? That's Jaden. Oh, he's, he's actually uh, he's actually a busy um, 
uh, what do you call it, uh, watching uh, his favorite show. But anyway, guys, I, I don't want to, you know what I mean? I don't want to take uh, so much of your time. Uh, thank you again uh, for supporting us and, you know, for liking all our uh, cooking videos and some of our uh, destination that we've been to. But yes, like what I said, guys, uh, more more of this one. And, uh, you know, we really, we really thank you again. We can thank you guys enough. So hopefully you guys, uh, you know, learn a thing or two again. Um, and like what I said, I'm not in no competition, guys. I'm not even close to being a professional, but it, you know, it's just my uh, joy of sharing my experience of cooking, uh, you know, our favorite uh, Filipino dish. So hopefully everyone uh, watching this one, will, you know, learn something again. And like what I said, I'm, I'm very pr proud of our dishes because I think they're like the most, uh, you know, not only tasteful, but you know, like flavorful one out there for sure. So yes, peace out guys. Thank you for watching.